A warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about imprisonment. In astrology, in classics, we find many of the combinations that can tell us about imprisonment. And in dire circumstances, people do ask us if there are yogas of imprisonment in their chart. So today we will be taking up two such dictums, one from Brihad Jatak and the another from Jatak Tatva, which tells us about imprisonment. So let's get started. But before we get started, thanks all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your comments and your suggestions there. If you haven't subscribed to us, please do remember to subscribe and remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. First and foremost, let's take one dictum at the time. So when we are taking up this dictum about Rahu and the 12th house, let's find the relevance. When Rahu, when we talk about Rahu, Rahu is the planet that causes misunderstandings. Rahu is known specifically to be a cheat, a fraudster. When people have this Rahu so placed that it aspects the 12th house, it is in connection with the 12th house or it aspects the 12th lord, then it can give imprisonment, especially the 12th house and the 12th lord concerned. Why? Because the 12th lord and the 12th house represent confinement in far off places from home. So, if this combination also holds a strong relation to the lagna, which represents the self, then a person can get confined. Let's go about it once again. The planets involved here, the planet involved here is Rahu. The house involved here is the 12th house and to a great extent the lagna. And obviously, the lords of the houses would be the 12th lord and the lagna lord. So let us take up the chart of Boris Becker, a very famous athlete, a very famous tennis player and he was charged on fraudulent activities such that he had declared himself financially bankrupt while he had diverted his funds to some other uh, accounts so that he would be able to evade taxes. You see, here his Rahu aspects the 12th house from the 6th house. Not only that, his Rahu also aspects Mars, the lord of Scorpio, his Lagna from the 6th house in the 2nd house, giving it a very strong combination whereby 12th house, the Lagna Lord and the, uh, the planet Rahu are involved. So we see that wherever Rahu, 12th house, Lagna Lord are involved in a combination, then the chances of getting into jail can arise. The jailing period can differ from person to person. It can also differ on the other planetary effects in your chart. Transits matter. Now let's move on to the second dictum. In the second dictum, we see that the planets involved are 1 and 6. That is the Lagna Lord and the 6th Lord. Why so? Again I repeat, Lagna represents the self. So the Lagna Lord is representing you. The 6th Lord represents your Prarabdh and it also represents confinement. Now, who does give us punishments or who helps us to redeem our karma? The planet Saturn. So when Saturn, the Lagna Lord and the 6th Lord have a PAC, position, aspect or combination, one may face jail during that period. In my uh, experience that I have found, generally people, no matter for what short period of time, may have to visit 
a particular unhealthy situation so to speak in their life so let us take a couple of cases i'll move back to boris becker's chart again so if we take boris becker's chart again we'll see saturn which is placed in his fifth house aspects mars with its 10th aspect which is uh, sitting in the sign of sagittarius in the second house mars is the lagna lord and also the sixth lord giving it a huge amount of potency let's take another chart a chart which is the sign of taurus the lagna is in taurus therefore venus becomes the lagna lord and the sixth lord when saturn sits with such a venus it is capable of giving a person problems relating to imprisonment it happens so in the case of one gentleman who for no fault of his had to suffer this insult this penury for a long period of time his saturn is sitting with venus in the fourth house what more the saturn is yog karak but is capable of giving him that problematic period saturn venus combination is a combination which is very difficult to understand and we have made a video on it from uttar kalamrita so do look into the video and see how that combination is also working in his chart such that the yog karak and the lagna lord is giving him penury imprisonment i repeat again that there are two yogas that we talked about today which can give us imprisonment what are they one rahu in association with the 12th house 12th lord and the lagna or the lagna lord can put one in jail due to fraudulent activities another saturn being the karm karak and associated with the lagna representing self and the sixth lord representing the confinement representing prarabdh can give us the imprisonment so do write into us do let us know how you found this video does it work in any chart that you have do write and do comment till we meet you again thank you